guys, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of Summer Shredding. Um, we're actually Monday and I haven't filmed anything for Summer Shredding. This obviously goes what, like Wednesday, so we're running a bit behind times. And what I, I plan on filming on the weekend, but I end up not. And what I wanted to now film about is about drinking and alcohol whilst on a diet, whilst cutting. Because I went out and got pissed on the weekend. <laughs> So like I said, I went out and had a few drinks with Jay and all the couples and stuff like that because it was his sort of leave and do. He travels, I think he goes to India and he's back on shit for three months so we wanted to do something. Um, and what I wanted to make this video or at least the beginning of the video about is dieting and drinking and can you mix the two together? Yes, anyone that says they don't want to go out and have a few drinks or go out and have a social life, there's no reason why you should be doing that unless you're prepping for a competition or you're a professional bodybuilder you should be able to balance lifestyle and dieting and i think if you're not then you really need to seriously sort out your priorities but what i want to talk to you about is sort of tips and tricks that you can do if you know you're going to go out and diet so the first one being we look at our diet as a week so monday right the way through to sunday how many calories are we eating so even though our calories are split up daily we look at it as a week. So what I did is I knew we were going out on Saturday night. So from Wednesday to Friday, I dropped my calories off probably about 100 calories every day, leaving me a building me a big surplus of calories to then go and over or go and use on alcohol. The next thing I would suggest is if you know you're going out drinking, try and fast for as long as possible on that day. So so you're going out and you're, you get up at nine or whatever, and you're obviously your day is longer because you're staying up till three, four, five a.m. Um, so what you want to do is try and fast for a longer periods of time. That means you're just having less calories within the day. Another thing is go and do some cardio before. Earn those calories. Go and burn 300 to 500 calories on the treadmill. You won't feel so bad for it. So these are all little tips and tricks that I would advise if you know you're going to go out and do it. When you go out, you want to make your good choices of alcohol. Don't drink wine and beer. That's all really high in calories. So I was on uh, vodka, lime and soda, or you could do like gin and slimline, stuff like that. Zero calorie mixers with a spirit is tends to be best. So this is all probably things that you've known, but I just wanted to address it and sort of bring it up. And it's a good way to start the video, talk about how what you can do to, if you want to go out and drink and ways you can get around those things okay so now we can go on to talking about how do you track your alcohol so alcohol is worth seven calories per gram so obviously it's empty calories it's a waste of calories so it's not ideal now did i track my calories of my alcohol this weekend absolutely not i knew exactly what i was eating in the day up until that point and i had a pool of calories left but i didn't track them if you do want to be super, super specific, then, uh, oh shit. Right, so like I was saying, you want to take your calories away from your, either your fats or your carbs, but you want to make sure you're still eating your protein. So, what you would do is, you would find out the calorific value of whatever you were drinking. Say it was a beer or vodka mix or whatever you'd have the calories you would divide that by four if you're taking it away from carbs or nine if you're doing it by fats because that is how much calories per gram that is so let's do it nice and easy so a bottle of beer 100 calories you divide that by four which is your carbs so it'd be 25 and that is how many carbs you would use so you're not just gonna have one bottle of beer you probably have two or three every time you'd be adding that up quickly adding up all your carbs and taking away your carbs so did i track it no is it essential no just make good choices when you're out drinking go out enjoy yourself but have a good balance um and yeah it's all about beer, doing it in moderation okay so what i don't like about going out and drinking is the effects that it has the days later so all of yesterday I didn't train when I should have probably gone in the gym, uh, gone in and trained, but I didn't. I just wasn't feeling up to it. I should have got some cardio in, but I didn't. It means I'm one day behind on my split. And you just feel rubbish. You just want to eat bad food. I mean, yesterday I hit my macros bang on, which is good. But a lot of people would struggle after eating, so after going out and drinking. So that's just little things to think about as well. Like, 
if you are going to go out and ha have a good time, try and make sure that you make good choices the sort of days coming up to it and the days after, so you don't, because you could quickly find yourself, rather than just having a bad night Saturday, you can have the whole weekend being bad. So we're about to go in and well, drop her off, then go and train. First one for two days, so we've got to go in and kill it, and then obviously I'm going to get in some extra cardio and make up for the session that I missed. Right, so just got to the gym, absolutely dead sound. It's another push day, it's the first day of the week which is push day and the last thing I filmed for Summer Shredding last week was push day with Tobe so if you want to see my push workout go and watch that video I'm not going to film in here and I'll probably I'll have to film some more for the Summer Shredding so whether I film a workout edit a physique update or something a little other I don't know, I'll let you know Ok so just finished 40 minutes cardio I thought we're about four, we are four weeks in, so I've got to do a physique okay. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'll probably put my original physique. One month in, we're down over five kilos or around about five kilos. Really happy with progression so far. How are you guys getting on? If you're getting involved, let me know. We'll catch up next time. Yeah, so I'm picking up my parcel this year. No, no, just be around. Okay guys, so I decided to pop up in the corner and finish off Summer Shredding episode 5 with a bit of a pairs ab routine. So I'll grab Johnny for this one. So after our workout and what we did is we just showed you a few paired exercises. So first one was a Russian twist, but this time to vary it up a little bit, we just hold the boxes and rotated, keeping those legs up, working those obliques. Uh, did about three rounds, oh, three, four rounds on each side. We then did a paired sit-up variation, so just stand on each other's feet and you can do this with a ball, you can do this with whatever you fancy, a dumbbell, holding either side, coming back, up and contracting those abs, and you just go for about 15 reps, rotate it around. The last one we did was a pair of leg raises, you'd have seen this before, pushing those legs up, working the lower abs, swapping over once again, 12 to 15, four rounds. So yeah, I thought I'd decide I would finish with that ab routine, as that, that's what I'm sort of doing two to three times a week at the minute, so, See, that was a bit different with a partner but normally I would do a Swiss ball or an ab crunch or something like that but yeah that was a paired ab workout hope you like that video hope you like to talk about alcohol as well if you found it useful make sure to smash that thumbs up button hit this like uh, I've just said that hit subscribe ring that bell so you know the notifications are on and I'll see you in the next one Bye.